How's it going guys? Vegan Howler here. Unrealliving.com coming to you from Cairns, Queensland. So topic for today is should you travel by yourself or should you always travel with somebody else? Like what's the deal with that? Now I've been traveling um, continuously for about the past, uh, just over the past year now. Um, 13 months I believe I've been on the road. So through Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand and about nine months through Australia here. And I've come across a lot of travelers, a lot of backpackers, and um, so this is a kind. Of, this is my opinion based on experience and by seeing what happens to other people and talking to other people about their travel experiences with other people. Um, what I'd recommend is if you are going to go travel anywhere in the world, I would highly, highly recommend uh, that you travel by yourself. I think it's definitely one of the best growth experiences that you can have because you're relying on your own vices, you're relying on yourself to base to do it and. If you're someone who's really shy and you really have troubles making friends with people or it's something like, um, yeah, you, you, maybe you're more introverted than extroverted, I definitely recommend that you do travel by yourself because if you travel by yourself, you're kind of forced. You're forced in a way to go start conversations and to make friends with people so it can be a really great experience for you to kind of gain more social confidence. And myself, I, was de I'm definitely, I definitely kind of fall into that category. I'm a little bit more introverted. Um, if, you see, if you watch my videos, it kind of seems like I'm very like, extroverted, kind of outspoken sometimes. Uh, but in real life, if I get into a big group of people, I'm actually probably one of the quietest people there. I'm actually a really quiet guy. And so I definitely recommend that if you are going to be traveling and you are introverted and you're not very extroverted, is to travel by yourself. Now, shh, the thing with traveling is that you're always going to meet people to travel with. Uh, if you're going through any of the major kind of tourist spots, so through through all the major spots in Southeast Asia, you will be hard pressed to find someone not to travel with. You you'll just be talking to someone, and you'll be like, oh, you know, I'm going to go to this place next, and that person will be like, oh, you know, I'm going to go to that place next, and then they're going to be like, oh, you know, let's let's go together, and. That, that's awesome. You can have those little kind of like adventures with people. You can kind of go on these little mini adventures and then you only have to travel f with that person for, you know, a week or maybe two weeks or a few days. There's no like kind of like you're not making a, a commitment to them. But say you travel with somebody, um, say, you know, you and your best friend, you're like, oh, let's go travel Southeast Asia. And you guys get there and you immediately start to clash because maybe um, you want to travel a little, maybe a little bit more loosely, you don't really want to have an itinerary, whereas your friend might be like, oh, you know, like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do that, or, you know, I don't want to go here and you want to go there, and you can have a lot of clashes like that immediately, so I'd recommend not to travel with somebody, so going with maybe your best friend or something like that, or one of your friends, but to travel to a place alone and then actually find people that you're going to get along with while you're traveling, so... That's definitely my recommendation, so definitely, yeah, I would travel by myself uh, to a certain destination, but while I'm on the journey, while I'm on the adventure, um, one of the best things about it is to meet people and to have those fun uh, relationships and experiences with those people that you meet while you're traveling. I definitely uh, met up with quite a few different people along my travels through Southeast Asia. I didn't really show them on video, but I definitely met up with a lot of people and uh, had some great times and it was definitely one of the best experiences about doing doing that type of travel is by the people that you meet not necessarily that um, just the experiences or the things that you see but the people that you meet um, you know I still talk to some of the people that, I, that I've met and uh, you mean you, you make really good friendships that way and you have something in common right you you like to travel and that's that's something that um, you know a lot of people don't necessarily like to do they don't like to travel and I mean people that I met, I met vegans along while I was traveling as well, so I mean there's definitely that, um, definitely a different spectrum of people out there, it's not necessarily, you know, people that are just going out and partying and shit like that. Uh, this one girl that I was traveling for, uh, with for a little bit, like neither of us really drank, we didn't party, and um, you know, we're both vegan, and so it kind of, it, it fit perfectly, right? So definitely uh, keep, keep an open mind about it, and definitely when you're traveling, try to go Try to go it alone, and it'll be an awesome experience. I definitely guarantee it. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Peace out.